Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our continued blind let's play, Bravely Second and Layout for the PC. My name is the Fatless Bear, this is your Stormy's Gaming Channel, and today, well, we got all our side quests done. So, are we at endgame? Unsure. There's like four bosses left or so, according to the journal. Let's dive into it and let's find out, shall we? Hope you all having a wonderful, fantastic day today. As we are here, and I'm just wondering this because I just saw this. I have Yokai on you. That makes me wonder because I have Summoner on her. I thought I would have that the other way around, but I guess not. Also, I uh, no one pointed this out, but this was something I messed up. There were two outfits that I did not get. And these are from the Chomp Village. Also, there were a ton of weapons I didn't buy from Chomp Village, which I did correct. But we had the Freelancer and the Washcloth. And these can be worn by all characters. So these aren't specific gear. Uh, you can see the Washcloth is literally just an underwear. And Freelance Garb is, well, sort of Freelancer. I'll go ahead and show these off to you all. I do like her freelancer. It looks cool. I'm not a fan of the washcloth, so a little bit too... You know. <laughs> washcloth and freelancer. His looks really cool too. And then finally, washcloth and freelancer. Cool. All right. And uh, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and jump into this cave here. The Norende Ravine. Where are you at? It's so weird because if you look on the bottom right. It almost looks like it's off center because everything is so dark. But no, that, that actually is correct. A road off traveled. How many times have I been down this road? As a kid, still never to come here alone. Here be monsters, everyone said. But we played here anyway. When the great chasm swallowed Norende, they carried me to Carl's Inn in Incaldisla. I woke up a week later. Came racing down this road. Again, I just had to see it with my own eyes. But it was gone, not a trace left. <sighs> I met Agnes on the precipice, and we huddled back down this road together, chasing after that turning airship. Each time we crossed the boundaries into another world, we raced up and down this road again and again, gritting our teeth tight against the pain and regret we felt. Ah. And when the great chasm gave rise to the dark aurora, we struck down this road one last time, toward a final battle. How many more times will we walk down this road? As many times as we had to. Until we walked away, all those terrible memories once and fall. Idiot. The next time we walked down this road, it'd be to visit the new Narendra village, the one you helped rebuild. I'll be there too. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Count me in too, all in this together. My friends, yeah, that would be nice. All of us together. Now, what I am going to do is, I, I don't need to do this at all. There is no reason to have encounters at this point in the game. But I am going to turn them on, just so we could see new enemies. And I do think I am going to, I am going to, uh, I am going to go into abilities and turn on supremacy for everyone. And that way we can just blitz through all the encounters, but at the same time see what new enemies there are. So we're not spending too much time on it, but at the same time I do want to, you know, just see what see what there is, if that makes sense. Explosion obtained. I have too many of those. Party is feeling brave. Oh, we got these guys again. Now, kobolds are actually really risky because they can counter. Uh, they can't counter. They, they do this like death attack and the death attack basically uh, can wreck your face. So, kobolds are a little bit tricky, 
But at this point, with how much life and damage and stats we have, uh, the level 11 stuff is absolutely insane. I was wrong about that. In particular, the, uh, the one that's most insane is the one you see in front of you that you don't see. And that is this ability called Late Bloomer. Now, Late Bloomer makes so maximum HP, MP, physical attack, magic attack, and physical events each rise by 1% for every job mastered to level 10. I have mastered every single job to legendary, which means I don't know how many jobs are in the game. I'm going to say about 20, maybe 30. I, I, I haven't done a count. I mean, there's a lot. Uh, let's see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, basically on each quadrant. So that would make about 28. So basically, all my stats are boosted by 28%. That is absolutely insane. And there's even more broken stats. As Entra pointed out, uh, the, uh, do, 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 which one? Uh, the Undoer class. I forgot the name of it. But they have an ability which basically makes so every single turn your stats, uh, your HP and MP get reset back to the way they were previous. Which means, unless you get one-shotted, you're immortal. Yeah, unless you get one shot, you're immortal. And a lot of, and um, like I was looking at the uh, uh, the balls on the moon, and uh, one of the balls, uh, they're they, they do like nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine damage to your entire party. But that's it. Now they do have double attacks that can't kill your party, but. The, the point is, you can do 9,999 damage to your entire party, and you'll still survive. And if you had that ability, you'll keep going. Which is absolutely insane, because you could just literally turn it on auto and destroy a 99 ball, providing they don't have that ability to, you know, basically one shot you. Uh, which can happen. Yeah, it absolutely can happen. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and favorite this. And what we'll do is we'll apply this. Exorcism. Exorcism. That's what it was. Just trying to remember. The game just died? Okay. That scared me for a second. I was like, uh, we didn't just go the entire way through this game and it died right now, did it? No, 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 no. Okay, good, good, good. And I'm here to kick your fairy little butt, you mischievous you. little... What are you? Don't trust any fairies. That's what I've learned from playing this game. How predictable. Come to stop me, have you? Anna, so you were the one behind the balls. Eh, sorry. Wrong answer. It's my master who creates them. I'm just in charge of transportation. Where's your master? Your master? But the Kaiser is... Denny is gone. That's not the master. Come on. <laughs> Did you hear that? He actually thought I meant his stupid brother. I speak of my true master. Lord Providence. Ruler of the celestial realm. Lord Providence. He who would deign to descend upon your lowly rock and usher it into a new age of enlightenment. After he kills you all, of course. That's what the balls were for. But then those stupid moon people had to get in the way, so Master sent me to prepare your world for his grand entrance. By blowing the moon out of the sky. But it looks like I don't need to bother with that anymore. After all, I have a shortcut to the celestial realm right here, don't I? A shortcut to the celestial realm? The great chasm is... You're pretty sharp for a blockhead. Yes, now I can send fully primed balls to all corners of the realm with the greatest of ease. It'll only be a matter of time before Lord Providence himself arrives. Tee oh, to he me. Uh, uh, you have no idea what a pain this assignment has been. First, I had to find a way to deal with my little sister's ridiculous plans. Then, I had to find someone stupid enough to summon the Holy Pillar for me. Hold it right there. 
That's my brother you're talking about! Who else? He did work hard, I'll give him that. Danced right along to my tune like the good little puppet he was. To deny this miserable world and build a new one in its place. To rewrite the past and forge a new future. This is your duty. No matter what the sacrifice, no matter how terrible the deeds you may do, we must change this world for the better. He ate it all up. <laughs> it was all I could do not to laugh. Why, he was even ready to kill his own precious little brother for his duty. Never even once realizing he was doing it all for a little old me. What a dupe. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough from you! Denny saw through your lies in the end. He chose to save us, to save Luxendark, and he did so of his own free will! Denny died to save this world. I will not let you make a mockery of his sacrifice! You tell me. Ooh, such admirable resolve. But I'm afraid you really don't have much choice in the matter. Okay, I'm about to stomp you and tear out your when wings. When Lord Providence descends, Lux and Dark as you know it will be completely and utterly destroyed. The precious world your idiot brother died to save will be wiped out in a wink. Uh, at last! It's the moment we've been waiting for, Master! In return for your brother's loyal service, allow me to give you a parting gift before your world is destroyed forever. A gift of... me! <laughs> like you've never seen me before. Bring it on. I don't think you've seen my power before either. You're just a dressed up bigger fairy, that's all you are. About to pound you into the dirt. Okay, what do we do here? I could double everything. That'd be insane. Uh, but I'm probably hitting 999 anyway. I just realized going to supremacy against a boss is not a good idea. I probably should have fixed that. Anyway! Uh, let's reduce physical defense. Uh, let's see if she has any good items. Although that's kind of a waste because it's a it's it's a twenty five percent chance. Not the best. Uh, let, let's just. What do I have equipped? I should have a uh, two good daggers on. Yeah, I do. Okay, so let's uh reduce her defense. Let's go ahead and steal from her and see if she has anything good. Ooh. Equal to half their maximum HP? Does this actually work? I don't know, but let's try it, shall we? Ah, there's no way that's gonna work. It's an elixir. Yeah, it's probably immune on bosses. But still, it was fun to try. We missed the fire. Oh, we're gonna burn this. We're gonna send her to the pit early. I have no idea what you did, but it's not gonna save you. Let's go ahead and do some quad nine damage. Uh, why don't you just sit back and chill? We know she's weak to fire, so let's burn her. This is gonna hurt. Because unlike Tiz, who only does one hit per attack, those do four hits per attack. Yep, told you that would hurt. Bravely second. 
Tiz, I want to know how much damage you can actually do right now. Give it a shot. And this is for Idia. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, irritating. Almost 50k. Oh my god. That's without even a stat up. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even have a physical attack up uh, song sung on that one. <laughs> You've gone and done it, haven't you? Not that it matters anymore. Lord Providence cometh any moment now. All you can do is wait, wait for the end. Master, aren't you proud of? I defeated Arian or Boris. I'll defeat your master too. Providence, she said. Oh, hi, Alter. Altair, you're here. There's something I wanted to ask. And I think I know what it is. Yes, it is surely as you have suspected. This Providence has control of Vega. I must apologize to you, Magnolia. Diamante, the ball who destroyed your home. It too was doubtless birthed from Vega's memories. Hmm. Don't apologize, Altair. I know it isn't your fault, or Vega's. It's the false god Providence that's behind all this suffering. He's the one we need to punish. Exactly. Altair, you've been a true friend. You helped us rescue Pope Agnes. If someone you love is being held captive, we're gonna return the favor. It's as simple as that. Yeah, we're gonna crush a god! I mean, save Vega <laughs> from Providence. <laughs> My children, there is so much good in you. I am proud to have shared this journey together. This journey ain't over yet, so let's get moving. <laughs> Indeed. What is it you always say at times like this? Come, you. Let us deliver our piece de Uh, right. Well, let's give it our all, everyone. For the gravy. Yes. But how? Do we just wait here for this providence to appear? No. We will invade the celestial realm ourselves. During my lifetime, I poured my heart and soul into finding a way to the celestial realm. But my research bore no fruit. Imagine my surprise when I came here to find a closer connection to the celestial realm than anywhere else in this world. But see for yourselves. The great chasm. Stay strong, Idia. It's covered in some strange black mist. That mist is a sign of a dimensional fluctuation. A holy battleground and an angel's descent. A chasm of darkness and a glimmering ship. All the bonds of fate tied to this place have gathered here, creating tremors in space and time. So what do we do? We must clear the mists. For beyond them, if my theory is correct, lies the path we seek. You, the pendant you carry. Hmm? It has the power to connect the hearts of individuals even beyond worlds. If we channel its powers and take advantage of these fluctuations, we may be able to lift the mists. Everyone must come together in prayer. All right, everyone. Let's give it our all. Come on. Trying. Focus and pray. I don't know how I can pray any harder. We need more. Allow me. Anias. Your holiness. Your help is most appreciated. The mists will not part. Do our prayers still lack in strength? 
Please, someone help us. Come on, everyone. Give us the strength we need. All of you listening right now. Come on, lend them their strength. Come on, everyone. Give them our strength. That's it. The mists are clearing. I can see the path to the celestial realm. Let up my children. Finally, I've done it. No, we've done it. I'm coming for you, Vega. <sighs> Good job, everyone. We, we did it. We did it. <sighs> Come on, everyone. The celestial realm awaits. It's time to save Vega and our world from the clutches of the false god Providence. Oh, here we go. Wow. Is that a ski lift in the background? Via Celestio. Look how beautiful this place looks. Oh my gosh. This is the path to the celestial realm? What is all this? It's like the strange images we saw when fighting the balls. Yes, that makes perfect sense. Vega's memories must be influencing the very landscape around us. Like this memory. Our first meeting. Ooh, let's hear it. Details, out with them. <laughs> you truly wish to know. I typically keep the details of my private affairs private. But we are all friends now, so lend me your ears. You got him. Spill. We met at a ski resort. I boarded a chairlift only to find a charming young lady in the next seat. Mm. As we were climbing up the mountain, a great blizzard came sweeping through, and the lift stopped. The girl beside me looked afraid, so I reached out to pluck a winter bloom from a nearby tree. Wow, look who's Mr. Smooth. <laughs> Though some might say giving a flower to a girl you've just met might be a bit forward. <laughs> <laughs> forward or no, it was for naught. She went off that day without so much as telling me her name. And now this false god has stolen and twisted that memory. We have to free her. We'll release Vega from these evil bonds. You bet we will. Yeah. Look how beautiful this place looks. Oh my gosh. All right, let's get going. I don't have the number of chests on. Oh, 3D elements throw me off here. I don't have the number of chests on, but we'll just pick them up as we go. Can we pick up a new helmet? Hello. Um. Don't have enough, but that should be plenty to kill them. See if they had anything good. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't notice that there were two of them. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and figure out what the other one has to. Which one did I do? Which one didn't I do? I don't know. Oh wait. So we did the lancer. Hyper braces. I 
I mean, Tiz uh, should be able to take care of everything. But at the same time, I'm going to just do this just because it speeds everything up. Gloves. We use these power braces forever. Um, and these are better. Wow, these are a lot better. Let's pass out my ancient warrior clan. Those are defense based, but these hyper braces are amazing. What did you say? You must defeat the evil god Providence to bring peace back to the world. Absolutely, on. On yes, absolutely. How do I get? Down there. Oh, Shakedown requires one. So let's do that. The Prince of Thieves. And then we'll do Shakedown. And everyone else will just load up on the Blinding Light. Dragon State. Splat. <laughs> so great. How... There possibly is a way up here to the left. Just an item. Oh, there's another blue dot. Okay, there's another blue dot on the screen. I gotta come back to this phase. Uh, one new enemy. Why am I doing this? Just to make sure that I don't have to... The best there is at what I do. I'm being a little lazy here. That's all. Aw, uh, Tiz went first. Oh, you went first. You're not supposed to go first. I mean, A, she's a, nin a thief. Oh, she doesn't have her speed up on. She has a new twa. Uh, you should have your speed up on. Okay, now she should be always going first. There are rare instances where she probably won't go first, but for the most part, she should be going first. Speaking of... So many of those. So, so many. So, what does everyone plan to do after the battle ends? Let's have a party. Question. I'll probably go back and help Father Ananias with the peace agreement. I guess we'll still be working together. I certainly do hope so. So what about you, sir? I'll probably just head back to Narende and, you know, live the slow life there. I sure hope so. Last time you said that, you went and collapsed. You scared us half to death. <laughs> Sorry about that. And, um, Magnolia? Are you still planning to go? Back to the moon, that is. Yes, it is my home after all. I have to help my people get their lives back together. Uh, yes. Of course. What about you? Oh, oh, well, the first I've got to work on reforming the Crystal Guard. And, um, well, the rest is, uh, private. All right, back to business, everyone. There's no time for chit chat. Yeah, let's do this. What if I should have someone on? chest just because I can get rid of pierce default it's not 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 the most pressing thing right now why oh, say three chests and I completely missed what that was shoot 
Uh, it was a Megalixir. I also have Royal Crown here. Doesn't seem to really do anything at all. I walked right by this chest somehow. Lordly robes? We know how good the Robe of Lords are from Final Fantasy IX. I don't know if everyone heard that, but oh my god, there was a big lightning strike. Like, literally right outside my door. That looked like a better katana. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and change zones here and uh, power down, and I'll be... You guys won't even notice because of the power of editing, but... This is... Should we ask? I feel kind of bad poking around in his private affairs. My, my. You are insatiable, my young friends. So tell me, do you believe in fate? Vega and I were reunited the following spring. I had achieved some success as a researcher. <laughs> well, at the risk of sounding boastful, considerable success. My superiors, feeling threatened, had me transferred. It was envy, plain and simple. Not yet having the wisdom of years, I sulked and despaired my fate. In a desperate attempt to get back at those I felt had wronged me, I dashed out into the rain with no cover whatsoever. I risked more than simply catching cold. In those times, severe pollution had made the rain acidic. As I trudged along in sodden despair, a woman came dashing after me, umbrella in hand. Oh, that was Vega! Yes. This is awesome. She was a colleague at the remote research facility to which I had been transferred. All of us! How could one not believe in fate? What a remarkable coincidence, I thought. In the small space we shared beneath that umbrella, we finally introduced ourselves. <laughs> but wait, how curious. If the memory of that ski lift became a ball, that means... <laughs> Vega, my dearest, you remembered as well. I guess it really was fate, huh? I hope Vega does- I hope Vega's not the final ball, so that'd be fine to say. Okay, maybe midnight now, but the storms have stopped at least. And I am very eagerly wanting to continue playing this game. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh, hello. Those are new enemies. Uh, let's go ahead and do it with her. Because I know she will always attack first, basically. And then we can run a Prince of these on both. Should work fine. Wow, 14k HP. Impressive. Not impressive enough though. Black swine. Very weird geography here. Teleporter. And then it looks like that's where I'm supposed to go. Hey, we got dragons. We got a bunch of stuff. So the problem with these guys is these guys love to default. And I do not know if my blinding attack will go through that or not. But it should be fine. I can't use shakedown, so I'll just use this on uh, the dragon. Why not? Oh, there were two Bahamut mics. Did 
did not know that. Oh well. Okay, so that's where you're supposed to go. So let's try going here. The music here is fantastic. Kaiser numbers. So this is a dead end here. Looks like I gotta go back through here. And then I gotta go through the one in the top left to take me to the middle right. And from there I can get those other two chests. Earth mallet. Man, this music is so good. Reflectoring. Gold hairpin. Ooh, the gold hairpins. Usually those are pretty good. Bravely second. Yeah, this is me being lazy. <laughs> That's all. It's just me being lazy. And this one's for Friendbot! Yeah! Magnifying glasses for Friendbot! Go Friendbot! Shout out to the friend bot for the magnifying glass. I think I can summon, can't I? I? I always forget, but summoning actually does the examine move. So I don't need to uh, use a magnifying glass. I could use the summon. I'm blind. I am completely blind. There's a treasure chest down here. Stole divine fists? Huh. Army shoes. More speed? Okay, now we can go to phase three. I was thinking of turning out the combat encounters, but it allows us to get information about them. And uh, it's not like the combats take too long. What do they take about 15 seconds? I mean, that's not such a big deal. They're like super fast. These stories are so cool. Vega and I got along well, though purely as colleagues at first. And then, and then? <laughs> Summer is the perfect season for risks and adventures, you know. Or perhaps the heat had just gotten to my head. In either event, that summer I took two great risks I'd never before dared to. The first was to ask her to accompany me to a festival. Count Courage, that's the spirit. The second was when I confessed my feelings to her. Aww. Wow, way to go. But how did you work up the courage? <laughs> Sometimes a man must do what he must. Not that I wasn't nervous the entire time, mind you. Every moment of that night, from the fireworks to our hapless attempts to scoop goldfish, have been indelibly etched into my memory. That this memory has become a ball must mean it was of deep meaning to Vega as well. Goldfish scooping? That sounds strangely familiar. Yeah, didn't someone we know do that? I... <sighs> <laughs> like I said, these stories are fantastic. All right, uh, where to first? Well, that's an easy decision. It's like I gotta watch the map more than the top screen. 
because the, the way that this place is set up is not overly confusing, just different, I suppose. All right, let's not be lazy. Well, let's up in friend mod for a change. Not friend bot, uh, delivery bot. Yeah, let's summon delivery bot. That'll be the first time I've ever done that. We didn't even get the epic music, unfortunately. Oh, stole Hermes shoes. Hey, oh, what? Oh, must have been the uh, enemies lurking in sight. I'm sad that uh, our delivery guy didn't get an intro. That's a adamantine gauntlets. I think so. It's kind of weird that we got uh, Hermes shoes here, though, because we just found a chest that had Hermes shoes. Crystal helm. Wow, that's like Final Fantasy IV type items. We also had the gold hairpin. It lowers MP consumption. It's really good too, just by itself. Um, this not so good though. Yeah, I mean, magic attack up and everything. Yeah, the gold hairpin's always been famous in Final Fantasy games for blowing up uh, magic points. Okay, so I want to go on the left one because left one took me a chest on the right. shoes all of a sudden. So weird that they put them in a chest though. That is so weird. I guess if you don't have a thief, we don't have someone who does thieving stuff. Ah, a new bow, which I will never use. I don't know why I just never use bows in this game. I, I did like the gun for a while. The gun was cool. Oh, this guy is hitting way back here. Bajva. I was almost out of sight. You couldn't even see it on the map. Solo Thamaza. That sounds interesting. I have to check out that Solo Thamaza. It's not a ribbon, unfortunately. I would really like a ribbon. Uh, cast Reflect. Cast issues that greatly raise agility. And divine amulet raises intelligence. Wow, that is a lot of intelligence. It's like a studio of sorts. Mm. This memory seems different from the others. And with good reason. It wasn't all love and romance after all. Vega and I may have grown closer, but we were still colleagues, working in the same lab on the same research team. That sounds... complicated. You'll recall that my being sent there was a demotion. We were given neither the funds nor tools to carry out meaningful work. But dreams are the ultimate motivator, and so Vega and I poured ourselves into our research. She believed in my hypothesis and did whatever she could to contribute to my vision. She snuck into the archives to retrieve data I could not and contributed creative ideas and solutions whenever I hit a dead end. In the end, my experiments succeeded and my hypothesis became an accepted theory. That was when I first felt it. I felt, no, I knew 
that I could overcome any difficulty if only she were by my side, that I wanted to share a life together. If attraction is gazing into one another's eyes, then true love is setting those eyes on the same shared goal, or so my theory goes. Understand, don't you? You? What, what are you looking at me for? Do, do you understand what he means, Magnolia? <laughs> yes, sir. I do. All too well. Aww. Oh, this is giving me a headache. Okay. Uh, let's go down because I see a chest. Pantheon trap. Nothing over here hidden in the corner. This place is so amazingly awesome. Like, this is one of the best, I'm assuming, final dungeons, right? It's like one of the best final dungeons I've seen in a while. You guys really shouldn't do this to me. I'm telling you. Like, danger will run down there. Nothing over here. Tinker's needs. Not too impressive. Nothing down here. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Durandal. I think I'm using daggers, believe it or not. Because of my thief. So I'm kind of using daggers and axes. It's a weird combination. I mean, the axes you would kind of expect, they, they're really good, but the daggers, not so much. Maybe once I make her a ninja, I'll use scimitars or, or um, katanas, I should say. Yeah, I took an That is not an upgrade. Well, the robes were, though. Well, it does raise evasion by a ton. I'm gonna know Makumo. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it raises evasion by a ton is really good. Stole a giant axe. Is that gonna be better than what I'm using, though? No, it's not. What's weird is uh, in the chopping village, uh, you can only sell, you can only buy one item. I've already gotten that. You can only buy one item uh, at a time, or like you can only buy one at a period. So when you go to buy axes, for example, you can't buy two axes. You have to buy one of one and one of another. Which isn't such a big deal until I get to casting rods. Because both of my mages had casting rods. Ooh, a brave suit. Now that's good. I mean, just a flat of extra BP is amazing. Uh, give it to her? We lose my magic by a lot. I don't want to lose that. Same with him. Could give it to you. Wow, magic defense goes down a ton. Okay, I like the extra BP, but that magic defense drop, I do not like. I mean, the extra BP is fantastic, but...
Well, I'm sorry about that. Um, <clears throat> had nothing to do with storms. Just saw something my throat just got constricted. I, I couldn't talk over something. I was coughing. Just suddenly out of blue. Normally when I cough, I can like feel it coming or something, but man. Ogre's Club, that's probably not going to be better. Yeah, that's, that's not gonna be better. Not even by a little. Okay, game. There we go. It's tough to click on the teleporter there. Oh, look what we have here. It's very pretty. Super pretty. Once again, I have good news and bad. Which would you like to hear first? The bad news, and make it quick. <laughs> You're quite the anxious type, aren't you, Idia? We'll have none of that. I shall start with the good news. Why'd you even bother? My God, it was a very special <laughs> night. A holy night, one might say. I reserved a most lavish dinner for the occasion. It was that night that I finally did it. I proposed to her. Aww. She must have been so happy. How did you ask? There was no dithering about. I just came out and said the words, Will you marry me? She cried. Uh, uh, cried in joy, of course. Of course. It was the happiest moment of my life. But that's wonderful. So wait, what's the bad news? Though we were now engaged to be married, I could not afford to buy a wedding ring. But I was receiving fair wages for my work, but I poured the lion's share right back into my research. She told me not to worry, that my love was enough. But still, it ate away at me. What a good woman. That Shortly looks like... after, we held a small ceremony and became husband and wife. I eventually saved up for a ring which I gave to her the day before I left for Luxembourg. I didn't appreciate it at the time because of those worries, but in light of all that came afterward, it was a happy time for us. After that, you and Vega were forced apart. Quite so. In the end, I never saw her again. But do not cry for me. My life was far from a sad one. After all, I lived my life to the fullest, working toward the goals I had set for myself. I lived my own life, and no one else's. Nice. Always be true to yourself. You must all live your own lives as well. Have courage. Be brave enough to default on the expectations of others. To find the courage to defy the world and live our own lives. Listen, everyone. Altair says he has no regrets, and I believe him. But I'd rather live in a world where his efforts are rewarded. Altair doesn't deserve to have his true love stolen from him by some dark god's meddling. That's right. Let's free Vega from the grip of the false god Providence. Of course. I don't want to see another person forced to live without the one they love. A second chance if we're only brave enough to seize it. As long as we don't give up, there's always a chance to do things over. Altair, don't give up on Vega yet! Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Don't give up on the one you love. Phase 5. Is this gonna be one massive long video again? Or am I gonna cut this up? <laughs> I just realized. I don't have the answer to that. Cause I'm barely default. I I did do that. I just made like one massive video. It's like an hour and what, 45 minutes? Maybe when I get to endgame, I'll uh I'll stop just before the final boss. And then we'll do that another day. Cause I imagine this is the final boss. I imagine we are in endgame. Gunier? Hyperbracers. I 
And what's weird is in the uh, the Bravely Default, I did turn off uh, encounters. I mean, I did turn off encounters running through the final dungeon. But with these strats of of everything, it's going much faster. Hey, we got the wolf friend. Hey, little buddy. Absolutely rest in the tent. Absolutely. Thanks. That was really delicious. You don't want another helping? You're usually on your third by now. Oh, la vache. Did my meal not agree with you? What? No, no, it was great. Your here comes another schnitzel was the best, really. <laughs> Pork schnitzel on top of veal, on chicken, on boar, on venison, on rabbit. All in one dish. What's not to like? Right. Especially when they're coated with fresh breadcrumbs and deep fried to a perfect golden brown. Magnolia, it's amazing how far you've come. I take my hat off to you. Leaving aside how she passed you ages ago, what gifts? Something's up. I made all these extras, too, for your seconds and thirds. It's just that... All right, fine. The thing is, I'm trying to eat healthier. I can't be the only one who's been feeling it. The stress, I mean. I'm constantly on edge, and my hands keep shaking for no reason. It's about to happen. For real. You mean the battle to come? Are you that worried about it? We got this. Yes, and you should be too. If we're not fully ready for it... Right, but I'm thinking there's something else on your mind too. Oh, <laughs> Tiz, you always see right through me. I've been thinking about Altair's story. Quite a bit, actually. Hmm? He wanted to see Vega again so much. Enough that his soul has crossed time and space. Mm. And I bet Vega felt the same. When I think what it must have been like for them to be torn apart like that, it's just hard to eat, you know? Tis, you have Agnes, right? You know what I mean. Yeah, I guess I do. Whoa, see? Yeah, me too. But you have someone too, Idia. Someone you'd cross time and space for. Yeah, I guess you're right. I do, don't I? <sighs> Idia. So, um, anyway, what am I going to do with all this extra schnitzel? Let's wrap them up for now. We can make sandwiches later. Who knows how long this fight is going to last. Better safe than sorry. All right. Great thinking, sir. Here, we don't want to waste any of this garlic, so let's use that, too. I'll donate all my chocolate. What's a sandwich without it? Oh, but, um, is that really a deer? Okay. All set. All right, then. Everyone, a quick rest, and then we head out. Okay, who are you and what did you do with the real idea? Dana Megalook? Wow. Let's give me a free item for uh, resting in a tent. I'll take it. Although, we probably don't want to go there because I think we missed some stuff. Almost at the point where I'm ready to turn off encounters. Yeah, we're backtracking here. Let me turn these off for a few. I wanted to show off the enemies here, and I think I've done that. Although the next, um, the next area may have new enemies, so I'll turn them back on then. Earthbreaker, is that better than what I'm using? No, it's not. No, it's not. So the Chop Village uh, had the best stuff. Where's that last treasure chest at?
Is it down one of these? No. You know where it probably is. It's probably on the left side. It's probably on the left side uh, underneath. Right here. Scalibur 2! Hey, we didn't get him Final Fantasy 9, but we got it here. Scalibur 2, a light imbued of holy kings. Yep, like I said, we didn't get it in uh Final Fantasy 9, but we got in Bravely Second. I, I was watching a video on that, and apparently the uh, PAL version loads slower than the non-PAL version. So if you try to get the Excalibur 2 in Europe, you had to get it in like nine hours, technically, instead of 12 because of the load times. Pretty insane. I was expecting a uh, cutscene here. Via Celesto, the final phase. Should I be changing out my uh, characters to, okay. I was about to say, should, should I be changing things out? But I guess not. We do have a save point here. I don't even know if I need to save here. I will put a stop here because the final fight in the original Bravely Default was a while. It lasted a while. And I would like to make sure this video doesn't go over like two hours. Now, granted, this may be a lot shorter, but you know, we can put the entire ending in the next video. And I was told that there is a secret dungeon that unlocks once you beat the game. So I figure, what, maybe two more videos of Bravely Second? We'll see how that goes though. But for now, I, I love you all so very much. Hope you have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, awesome day. And until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you'd like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. But before we go, please remember that you matter and you are brilliant, and you are loved, and you should always be true to yourself. Never let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly, feathered, flightless bird.